Who do we have here? Somebody say something. I saw Judy. Oh, Lord. Binks has already started. Binks, please. Please. Hi, Robin. I know all about it, dude. Randy. What's up, Randy girl? Hi, Celeste. My life's antique white. Hello. Yep, there's Binks. Hello, decor and more. Jennifer Lab, Mama, CJ Bailey. Hi, Teresa. Mama J, Belinda. Yes, this is our Ramper Room Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Hello, Kathy. Hi, Lisa. Carolyn, Margwood, I look at, I can't even say your name now because I want to say Margwood Gwen, Margaret Gwen, that is a, a little bit of a tongue twister, I have to say, hey Bev, hi Steve, Lisa, hi Judy, hello Mary Royer, Binks is hanging out on the table over here. I can't, Margaret. <laughs> okay, let me see if I could do Sam. Mogwick Gwen. How was that? That was good, huh? <laughs> Hi, Carol Gatles. Hello, Larry Riley. <laughs> Linda Barnum. Wow, the chat just flew by. Hi, Dana. <laughs> um, Judy Skellett. Picky Purple Pirate. Wow, that's a new one. Hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> um, Linda Barnum. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's just chilling over here right now, so. <laughs> Hello, Laura, Myrna, <laughs> Josie's Butterfly Kisses. So how's the weather where you're all at? Because here it's pretty crappy. It's starting to snow again. It's freezing. I have, a, I have not, I stuck my head out this morning to put packages out and that was it. Freezing, yep. Hello, Irene Fink. Yes, we are, Randy. It sucks. <laughs> to be quite blunt. Snowing in Iowa, pretty in Georgia, 21 in Ohio, 7 in Chicago. Yuck. Ah. Uh, oh, Alabama. Snowing in Nebraska, 9 degrees. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 20 degrees. 22 degrees. Buddy, what do you, what do you want? Come on, sit down. That's a good boy. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, God, I hate winter. Negative one next week. Oh, my goodness. Teresa, I feel ya. <laughs> You're freezing in Virginia. Mm. Hello, Maricha. Hello, Barb Lee. Hi, Sandy. I mean, Trisha. <laughs> yes, I know you do, Mama J, just as much as I do. Oh, uh, I bet it is, Celeste. Sunny, but still snow on the ground. Uh, not, not here. Gloomier than gloomy. Hi, Pat Hall. Lisa Shields. So, 
We have um, 94 people and only 26 thumbs up. Come on, guys. Hi, Paulette. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please. CJ, you had to turn the heater on. Oh, yeah. Mine's running constantly now. Hello, Designs Laura. I got your information. So you're all good. Hi, Wendy. Um, anybody that's new to me and who has never bought from me before, um, I don't know if my daughter's, hi Cheryl, I don't know if my daughter is going to be here um, to help me today or not. So I am going to, um, I'm going to put my email address um, in, the, in the chat for you. Okay, so I just put my email address in the chat. Um, so anybody new, uh, if you could just um, send me a quick email with your, um, your YouTube name, your real name, your mailing address with the zip code, and your PayPal email address um, before you um, try to offer on anything in my sale. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that was that was nice. Like I just saw the old tushy wiggle from my son trying to wipe his feet running to the bathroom. Um, so if you hear anything, I'll just keep talking like really loud because it is usually quite loud. And um, <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it talking. Um, okay, decor and more. I know I had issues with you with getting your information. You sent me a few different emails and stuff like that, and I sent um, invoices to both of those, and I don't know if you never got them or what the deal is. So this is what you need to do. My email address is... I just typed in, it is in the chat. If you just scroll up, you will see it. It's hazel -eyed Gal 63 at AOL.com. All you need to do is send me your full real name. I already know your YouTube name, Decor and More. You need to send me your full mailing address with the zip code. And whatever email address is associated with your PayPal account. And that should take care of everything. Um, okay, so hopefully that will help. Because I sent out like three different invoices uh, to, to you. And like I said, I don't know what happened, but... So, um, yes, so anybody new, just email me all of that information, and we should be good to go. Um, so, I spoke with um, Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures. I'm sure you all are aware now that Stephanie's um, dad did pass away. Um, I was supposed to have a sale with her this Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. Um, and I didn't know if that was going to take place with everything that happened. But I did speak with Stephanie, and she still would like to do the sale with me on Tuesday evening on her channel. Um, so, uh, because I will be doing a sale today, a sale Tuesday, and a sale Thursday with Alex at Chapter 2 Vintage... I am only going to have uh, 30 regular items today and five offer ups. Okay, just so everybody knows, because 
to do 50 plus items and then 20 and then 30. That's a lot of stuff for me to package by myself. <laughs> so um, that's why I have less items today. So I just wanted to let everybody know that um, in advance. So I have a variety of items today. I do have uh, two fairy lamps. Um, I do have some cookbooks. I have salt and pepper shakers. I have uh, decor. I do have a gorgeous picture that I am going to be doing an offer up on. So we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. I'm just, um, yes, prayers, prayers out for Stephanie. And um, also for Margie B, whose husband passed away last week, and Cindy from Cindy's Thrifting again, her husband passed away, I believe the same day as Margie's husband. So they all definitely could use some prayers right now. Oh, thank you. I made this. This is made out of polymer clay. Yes, that is made out of polymer clay. Oh, so is my pin. Hi, um, Anna. Yeah. Oh, and my earrings. <laughs> my earrings are also clay. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So let's get started, guys. Um, I guess I'll start with some smalls like I usually do. Thank you very much, Carla. Um, I have an adorable uh, set of salt and pepper shakers to show you. Uh, you probably will remember it from my most recent haul. Uh, it is this set. Of course, it is Christmas, I guess, because it has this little holly and berries, but I could not resist selling them today. They're so cute. Hey, sis. And I know that everybody loves Christmas at any time, so... Here they are. They're not old. They were made in China, but they both have their stoppers. And they're really, really cute. So this set is going to be $10, and it is number 23. Pamela Blanchard, $10, number 23. Hi, Sue Golombeski. Jeffrey Ross, I see you for the salt and pepper shakers. Thank you. Hi, Tiger Purple. Hello, Christy. Hi, Terry. All right. Um... I have, well, hello, Poodle. How you doing, love? Um, I have a, a little jar of metal buttons. Every one of the buttons in this jar are metal. Um, I will show you a few. I just thought it would look better in a jar than in a baggie, you know, but... We have this one. There's all kinds of really cool buttons in here. Uh, we just have like a plain round one. We have one like this. Whoops. <laughs> if 
I can grab a hold of it. Button, button, who's got the buttons? I got the buttons. Yes, I do. So I don't know how many are in here. I didn't count them, but there are quite a few in here. This one's a nice one too. So you're going to get this whole, almost a whole jar. It's like half, a half a jar of metal buttons for 12 bucks. Number 16, $12, number 16 for the jar of metal buttons. Perfect for crafting. Pam's Eclectic Place. Hi, Pam. You get number 16. Thank you. Where'd my pen go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Jessica and her hubby uh, went out today to get all the paint and stuff for, um, hello, Carrie, how you doing? Katie, hi, Katie. Uh, yeah, they went to go and get paint and everything for, um, for the new house, so um, she didn't say if she was going to be back for the sale or not, so I'm just, I'm just winging it. So, uh, okay. Anybody in the mood for some watermelon? How about this awesome watermelon cup? You doesn't get any more bright and colorful than this. And this is made by that German uh, Wachterbosch. Wachterbosch? <laughs> I don't know. It's German here and it says Spain here. So... Uh, beautiful condition. I don't think it was ever used. Beautiful cup. This is $8, number six. $8, number six for the watermelon cup. Hi, Joanne Baber. Hello, Kathy. Happy and hearted. Oh, winter, $12.99. I got you for the watermelon cup. Thank you. Oh, uh, where is it? Okay, winter, $12.99. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Lorraine. Oh, I see uh, Mr. L. Page is here. Good afternoon, sir. All right. I have a gorgeous um, a cut glass creamer. I think this is so, so pretty. It's just beautiful. And I don't feel any cracks or chips. Um, maybe a little, a, actually a little, there is a little chip right here on this one point. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's just a gorgeous uh, piece of glass. Uh, this is going to be $10 and it's number seven. $10, number seven. Hi, Cam's Folly. <laughs> she said, I finally made it in. Woohoo! $10, number seven for this gorgeous creamer. Yeah, I have to get out uh, and do some more thrifting because the inventory's running low. So, um, yeah. All right. Next, I have a beautiful uh, hand-blown glass apple. Um, you, you could use it for a paperweight. It's not real heavy, but it's not real light either. Uh, but it's beautiful. You can see the Ponto mark on the bottom. 
It is just beautiful. It is, including the stem, it is four inches tall. Uh, it's it's really a gorgeous uh, piece. I love the red is a very deep red. Uh, this is going to be fourteen dollars, number eighteen. Fourteen dollars, number eighteen for the hand blown glass apple. Yeah, it would. It definitely would. Oh, I've been doing that, Joanne. Where do you think all the milk glass is coming from? <laughs> Although I don't have any milk glass today. Not today. Hi, Virginia. All right. Um, next I have... This is a really pretty, uh, this actually sold quite a while back in one of my sales and the person never um, paid for it. So it's this adorable little, um, what do they call that, a wheelhouse? I forget what they call that. I know this is a water wheel, but is this called the wheelhouse? It's made by Timeless Impressions Sangamon. Yeah, the mill, a, a grist mill. Okay, thank you. I knew there was a proper name for it, but it's so pretty. It is six inches around. That's the back. So this pretty little plate, where did I just put my... um? Where did I put my tag? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, well, this will be $6, and it'll be number 36. $6, number 36. Randy, Mr. L. Page, you got it. Gris Mill Plate. Thank you very much, sir. All right. I have uh, a couple of beautiful um, vases. Okay, this one is Lefton, and it is this gorgeous cornucopia vase. Show it up close. It's absolutely stunning. That's a piece of the sticker, I think, right there, isn't it? I don't know. Um, just a beautiful piece. Hi, Patricia. Yes, it's very pretty, and it measures six and a quarter inches tall, and it has no issues whatsoever, and this is going to be $12, number 24, $12, number 24. Myrna Spratt. You got it, Myrna. It's a gorgeous piece. You're going to love it. Thank you, love. You got kicked out, Pamela? <laughs> Don't you get kicked out during your sale, too? <laughs> My poor Pamela. She's got all kinds of technical difficulties. <laughs> All right. Um, next, I have this awesome cat p 
pillbox. I think this is so cool. That's the top. And then you just press the little button and it pops it open and you can fit your pills in there. And I don't know who makes it. It's got a little mirror on there. That's the back. This is $10 and it's number 10. $10, number 10. Belinda Carroll. You got it, Belinda. Thank you, honey. Okay. Um... I have a couple of vintage purses, and they're both uh, very similar, uh, but they are different colors. So I'm going to show them both, and then I will do one at a time. So first we have this really beautiful, um, it's like, it's white, but it has a metallic um, look to the beading that's on it. And as you can see, it has, uh, you could do a long handle or a short handle. And it is in perfect condition. It was made in Hong Kong. It is in perfect condition. I don't see any beads missing or anything. It looks awesome. So that's the first one. The second one has the same uh, design on the top here, but it has a different type of bead. And this is an ivory color. Um, this one is missing one bead right there, but again, it is made in Hong Kong, probably by the same company. It's in excellent condition. I don't think they were ever used. So I will start off with this beautiful cream colored one. This one is $15, number 28. $15, number 28. This one, actually, is it missing? No, I don't know. Yes, this one is missing a couple, uh, one bead up here, I think. Uh, this one is also $15, and it's number 17. $15, number 17. All right. Oh, Barb JM, it looks like. Hi, Angel. How you doing? Okay, Barb, you get this one, which was number 17. Thank you, Barb. Hey, Lori C., how you doing? All right. Next, I have a beautiful bracelet. Um, this is, I almost wasn't going to sell it because I really, really like it. But I'm not working. I don't go anywhere to really dress up. So I'm just going to sell it. It is this gorgeous flower bracelet. 
with all the different color rhinestones for, for the centers. It is just beautiful. And the flowers are like a gunmetal color. This bracelet is $15 and it's number 11. $15, number 11. Yeah, I think it's gorgeous. I love it. Hey, what's up, Alex? Oh, I see Joanne Baber for the bracelet. You got it, Joanne. Thank you very much, hon. Hello, Gina Marie. How are you doing? All righty. Um, for those of you that enjoy, um, I know there's a lot of people out there that collect, um, hey, Linda, that collect playing cards. I do have a, de um, a double deck here. So... This one is brand new in the package, never used. This one is not in the wrapper, but I think it was probably used one time. And they're all there. I did count them. And these are made, whoops. <laughs> these are made by Hoyle. So, you, um, oh, look how cool. I didn't even realize this. The bottom of this is sparkly. It's a glamorous deck of playing cards. So, let me put these back in here. You get the both uh, decks of cards for $6, number 21. $6, number 21. Pam's Eclectic Place. You got them. Thank you very much. All righty. A hundred and eighteen thumbs up, and two hundred and seventy eight peeps are in the room. Get them, Virginia. <laughs> Get them. <laughs> okay. Next, I have, I have this beautiful, see if I can Hold these up without dropping them. I have this beautiful set of Irish coffee cups with the matching saucers. They're in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. Oh, thank you, Susical. <laughs> no cracks, no chips, um, no utensil marks. I don't think they were ever used. Um, so you get the set for $12, number five. $12 for the set, number five. <laughs> Margaret, Margaret, why can't I say Margaret? Margaret Gwen, you get the Irish coffee cups. Thank you, sweetie. I know, it's like it doesn't want to come out the right way. I don't know what my issue is. Okay, I think it is time for an offer up. What do you guys think? You were sick, Linda?
All right. So. I guess I'll just do this first because it's amazing. Crohn's and colitis out of control. You know what, Linda? My ex-boyfriend had Crohn's and colitis and it was not pretty. I feel for you. I really do. I, I don't, I could not handle that. I really could not. Show the glow. <laughs> this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So, this bowl is about eight and a quarter inches around. And it's three and a quarter inches tall. So I am going to type start in the chat. I'm not going to time it. When we get down to where nobody's bidding anymore, then I will call it. You missed the glow, Christy. Look at that glow, honey bunny. Yes. <laughs> we are going to start the bidding at $15. You may start. I got my package from Crafty Jackie today, and it had a bag of cashews in it. <laughs> I was ecstatic. I love cashews. I don't know what the pattern is, but it looks to me like it has sunflowers on it. They're either... Can you see those? Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm not sure. Uh, as I said, I am not up on my glass. So we have Pamela at 41. Um, Danny Girl Vintage is out. But that's not a tulip. That flower right there. Uh, th to me, that looks like, oh, a zinnia. Yes, 45 for Carla Salamone, 46 for Pamela Hammett. Yes, Zinnia, that's it. I could not think of the flower. So we have Sue Golombeski was at 47. Cindy Lou, who's Thrifted Treasures, is at 50. Carla, 50. Sue is at 51. Margaret Gwen is at 60. It is gorgeous. It really is. The color I just love. Cindy Lou Who's at 65. Sue Golombeski is out. So $65 is the, is the offer to beat. Carla is out. Margaret Gwen is at 70. Jen is out. All right. So we have Margaret Gwen at $70. Going once, going twice, it's a bowl sold to Margaret Gwen for $70. Thank you very much, Margaret.
congratulations. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> and I will wrap it up really well. You know how I am. All right. Um, next, I have a small lot of cookbooks. Mostly just for decor. I showed these in a recent haul. We have the Metropolitan Cookbook. Um, the Light That Never Fails is what it says on the top of this building up here. Um, it has all different kinds of recipes. Uh, there are no, uh, no graphics in here, just the recipes. But I got it just for this because I think this is phenomenal. I absolutely love the cover. Then we have the new Royal Cookbook. Uh, it is put out by the Royal Baking Powder Company. Look at that graphic. Also a very cool cookbook. Um, no graphics on the inside, just the recipes. And then this one is the Family Food Supply. And this is also by the Metropolitan, um, from the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. So you will get, excuse me, I gotta find my little tag. <laughs> you will get the set of three cookbooks for $12, number 25. $12 for the set of three, number 25. What is that, Christy? <laughs> okay, so this is $12, number, what did I say? 25. It's supposed to be a black hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was interesting. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, next, I have... A, a small lot. Uh, I don't know where he is at the moment. I have a small um, lot of wine bottle stoppers. Three of them are clear glass and one is metal. We have the grapes, grapes and leaves. We have an apple. And they're all in great condition, no, no chips or anything. We have a golf ball. <laughs> and we have, this is the metal one, the flip-flops, which I think is pretty cool. So you will get all four for $20, number 30. All four, $20, number 30. I don't want to drop them.
Yeah, they're pretty cool. Linda Dickerhoff. I see you for number 30. You got them. Thank you very much, love. All right. Um, for those of you that like the rustic decor or farmhouse decor, I have this really cool wooden um, spool, I guess, candle holder. It's pretty neat. It is... Um, 10 inches tall, and it is $10, number 12, $10, number 12, Brooke Lagan, you got it, Brooke, thank you very much, you sent me your information, haven't you, Brooke? Okay, Virginia wants the fruit cookbook. Well, it's the it's all three of them for the for the one price. Let me write down Brooke first for the um for the candle holder. It was number twelve. Um, L A E G E N. I was close. <laughs> um, she wants the cookbook. Virginia. Um, so it is. You get all three of the cookbooks for $12. Did you still want them? Okay. Okay. Um, you have the fruit bowl and can't find the candlesticks to go with it. Oh. Yep. I have two these are so cool the colors are awesome and they're both exactly the same so i'm just going to show you one it is these two these are runners um but let me show you the pattern on here Isn't it adorable? The colors are just awesome. Um, and as I said, I have a pair of them and I can tell you about what they are. Let's see, that's, just give me one second. Um, they're about 40 inches long. And they are 18 inches wide. Sorry, I hit my um, my talk and text. <laughs> so you will get the pair of these. And they are, um, there's, I didn't notice any staining. So they're in really great shape. They're $14 for the pair number nine. $14 for the pair, number nine. Oh, sis, I see ya. I see ya. You got them. Let me just double check. Yep, you got them, sis. All right. 
Number nine. All right. Okay. Next up, I have another, um, I have another paperweight. This one is a clear apple with the brass stem and leaf. Looks brass to me. Um, this is, let me see, including the stem, it's three inches tall. Uh, this one is $12, number 27. $12, number 27. Sue Golombeski. Thank you, Sue. All right. Okay. Um, I have another set of salt and pepper shakers. Um, these are really, really cute. These are made by Ron Gordon Designs. And it looks like they're from 1988. Yes, 1988. And it's these two, um, two little row houses. They're in excellent condition. I don't see any, ch oh no, I lied. I spoke too soon. This one has a little chip down here on the bottom. And this one has a couple of little chips on the bottom. One there and where'd the other one go? One here. Um, I put corks in them that I got from my friend, um, Mary Jo. <laughs> so they have corks. So where is my ticket? I am losing my prices. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, since um, there are a couple chips on them, um, I am only going to charge $8 for these. And they are going to be number 37. $8, number 37. Hey, Lucid, what's up, girl? Yeah, $8, number 37. Oh, Cindy Neal. All right, Cindy, how you doing, honey? Thank you. You got them. All righty. Anybody have exciting plans for the weekend? I don't. I'll be packing. <laughs> I'll be packaging stuff. All righty. Let's do, let's do this. Cleaning. Yeah, fun wow. Right, I know. Actually, right before my sale, I was cleaning my bedroom. <laughs> Dusting, you know, all that fun stuff. Oh, yes. Um, I made this. These All these little hearts are made out of um, clay. I could take it off. Well, nah, I don't want to take it off. <laughs> and I also made the pin and the earrings. Oh, Linda. Oh, we all got to sing happy birthday to Linda. Yes, we do. You're going to regret this, Linda. But 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Linda. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Are your ears burning and falling off? <laughs> Yay! All right. Now that that's over with, <laughs> my next item is this brand new... Vera Bradley photo album. Um, it's really, really beautiful. That's the first couple of pages on the inside. And then it just has all these little spots for your photos. And then it has, um, oh my goodness. It has the spots next to the photos where you can make like little comments or put little memos on there. Um, it's, it's quite, there's quite a few, um, picture holders in here. Um, this is going to be $12, number 29, $12, number 29. Hmm. All right. Um. Oh, Jeffrey Ross. I got you, Jeffrey. I got you. Thank you, sir. All righty. So. I have some beautiful cobalt blue items. I have this beautiful little vase. I just love it. I love the design. So pretty. It is four and a half inches tall. It's $9 and it's number three. $9, number three. Cheryl Megason, I see you, Cheryl. You got it. Uh, number three. Oh, I have them backwards. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me check something. What the heck did I do? I have two number 29s. <clears throat> so this one is actually, all right. So we'll make this one a different number. I screwed up, guys, like I always do. Um, hang on. I just have to find the, um, it's not even on here. All right. So, um, Cheryl, the, um, the vase that you just got is going to be number 38, just so you know. It's number 38 for <laughs> I don't know what the heck I was thinking. All 
All right. So, next I have this beauty. And this is actually a party light candle bowl in the cobalt blue. And it has the silver detailing. There's the party light sticker. Really, really pretty. Um, this is $12, number three. $12, number three. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the heck I did, but, you know. <laughs> Linda, Linda Dickerhoff, the birthday girl. She gets the party light candle bowl. Thank you, Linda. All right. There we are. So he's he's sleeping somewhere and Sophie is sleeping over here right next to me on the table. Um, I don't know where he went. Hi, Kathy. Jessica is at her new house. Probably, uh, they're probably starting to do painting because they went to go buy um, all the paint. So that's probably where she is. All righty. Next I have, somebody told me what this locket was for and I can't remember. But it's this gorgeous filigree locket. It just snaps shut. Uh, I did not see any, um, any name on it or anything. Uh, it's just really, really pretty. A lock of hair, that's it. Thank you. Um, it is really, really a beautiful piece, I think. Um, this is $12, and it's number four. $12, number four. I think it's gorgeous. Belinda, you got it, Belinda. Thank you. Let me put that over here with that. Um, okay, I have I'm gonna try this vase again. Um, it didn't sell when I showed it before. So I'm gonna try it again. Maybe somebody is here today that likes it. Now it does have some damage to it. But I really don't think you could tell. I mean, I, I, well, it's not really saying anything. I didn't even notice it, which is not saying much. But um, it's this beautiful little floral vase with the pretty gold detailing. Now, this was chipped here, and I did touch it up with some um, gold enamel paint. And some of the leaves are broken. But it's still such a pretty piece. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to leave it there. So I brought it home. And I just think it's still very pretty, even though it has some boo-boos. So because it is broken, I'm asking $8, number 15. $8, number 15. Oh, Myrna Spratt. Thank you for taking that piece, Myrna. It's really pretty. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I, 
I have this beautiful little planter. Um, I don't know who makes it, but it is a beautiful shade of blue. It's kind of like a slate blue, but it has this little bird on there, and you can see all the crazing on there, and I love it. I love the crazing. I think it just adds a whole other dimension to it. Um, I don't see any cracks or chips anywhere. It's in really, really good condition. And this is going to be $12, number 19. $12, number 19. That's a really great idea. Designs Laura, you got it. Thank you very much. All right. I'm running out of room here. Okay. Um, I have a real vintage piece here. Oh, you're welcome. Hi, Karen. I know. You know what? If it's really not noticeable, you know, then why not get it? I mean, you could always turn it around, you know, if possible. So, this is a can, it's called the original candle vase. So, what it is, is it's this piece here, and you put it down over your candle as they're showing right there, and then you add flowers into it. So, it's kind of like a candle flower frog. <laughs> so to speak. Um, let me see if I could take it out. I don't want to, the box is even cool. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. I'm opening it the wrong way. So this is, there's two of them in the box and they look like this. And you would slide that down over your candle and then put the flowers in all of those little holes. So basically you're making like a floral flower ring. Floral flower ring, floral flower ring, floral flower ring, yay! <laughs> um, I think it's really, really cool. Uh, it's $8 and it is number two. Eight dollars, number two. Yes, it's a, a it's plastic. Yep. No, how would the flower catch on plastic unless you let the flame burn all the way down up to the flowers? Then yeah, you know you would have to like you know keep an eye on it. But that's a good point though, Miss Katie. Uh, looks like Dana. Looks like Dana gets that item. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, what number was that? I forgot. Number two. Thank you, Dana. All right. It is time for another offer up, everyone. Are you ready? Make sure you refresh. All right. Let me grab a candle. You guys know what it is because I just gave it away like a big dummy. But, let me just get a candle. So I remembered to put my phone on Do Not Disturb, but I forgot to bring the candle. <laughs> I can't win.
All right. So, offers for this are going to start at $15. You can start your offers now. It is this gorgeous red hobnail fairy lamp. Just in time for St. Patrick's Day. It is a gorgeous shade of red. Um, it has a couple little teeny flea bites on the rim. See those little teeny flea bites right there? Other than that, perfectly fine. It is gorgeous. I love it. The color is just gorgeous. So we have Karen's Vintage Keeper at 35. Jeffrey Ross is out. Uh, no, it is not flashed. It is ruby red glass. Blue Flamingo is at 41. Cheryl is at 50. Blue Flamingo is out. It is Fenton. I believe it is Fenton. CLC is out. Carla is at 55. Yeah, this is not, this is not flashed. This is red, um, red glass as far as I know. I mean, I don't see, it's, it's red glass. And let me just look on the bottom. And it is Fenton. I don't know if you guys can see that. We have uh, Carla is at 75. Sue Golombeski is at 76. Cheryl Hoskins is out. So we are at uh, Sue Golombeski. Oh, Carla is at 80. So $80 is the offer to beat. Sue Golombeski is out. So we are going to call it. We are going once. Going twice, and we are sold to Carla for $80. Congratulations, Carla. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous fairy lamp. All right. Okay. Now back to something boring. Um, I have this really nice set of salt and pepper shakers. Love the graphics and love the colors. Brand new, never used. I added corks to them. These are going to be, why do I keep losing my darn tags? OMG. Maybe I didn't mark them. I don't know. I, you know what? I'm losing my marbles. Uh, anyways, these are going to be $10 and they are number 39. 
$10, number 39. Hey, Kim. Binks did it, yes. <laughs> Linda Dickerhoff. You got them. Oh my word, I don't know what the heck is my issue today. So I actually have more items than I thought I had. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Let me see, where is he? I don't know. He's sleeping somewhere. Yep, he is. He's napping. You know what he does? He goes in my daughter's room and she has some of those, you know, those cubicle things, you know, the, the three. And the bottom one where the register is, she doesn't put anything in there. And that's where he goes and he lays in front of the, the heat vent. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. Um, this item sold before and then the person didn't, um, didn't go through with the payment. So I'm going to offer it again. And it is a beautiful piece. It's this gorgeous cloisonne trinket box. Just a beautiful piece. Blue on the inside. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Just a gorgeous piece. Excellent condition. $12, number 14. $12, number 14. <laughs> Janice Meinhardt, Janice Meinhardt, you have it. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is kind of like um, a Mod Podge lot, so to speak. Um, first I have, this is barware. Um, first I have this really cool uh, cocktail shaker with the different vintage cars. A 1910 Buick, a 1915 Studebaker a Chevy, a Stutz, a Ford, a Hudson, and it is in um, good condition. Um, it needs to be washed. It's been sitting for a while, but um, the paint on it is really in great condition. So that's part of the lot is this uh, cocktail shaker. Then I had these three glasses with the antique cars, although these two are the same, the green ones, and then we have the red one. So we have the two that are the same and this red one. So um, they do have some, it looks like a little bit of hazing on the bottom. And these are made by uh, Anchor Hawking. These are Anchor Hawking, actually. Here is the, I'm not Anchor Hawking, oh my God. Hazel Atlas. There's the H and the A on the bottom. Hazel Atlas. So you get the three glasses and the cocktail shaker for $18, number 20. $18, number 20 for the lot. 
Linda, are you going to mix up some cocktails for your birthday? Linda, 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 you got it. Pardon me. I'm just trying to um, slide that over there. Where's my barware? Okay. Okay. Um, let me just make a little room here for my other items. I'm trying to move the ones that sold over here. Alrighty, yes, no helper today, so you'll have to beg my pardon. All right, that gives me a little bit of room, so that does help. Okay, um, let me fix this because I know I knocked it. I have some more Fenton for you. And it is a beautiful set. They are marked on the bottom. It is this beautiful set of olive green hobnail. It is a little, uh, I guess, a candy dish. And a little ruffled bowl. Uh, Fenton is marked on both of the pieces. They're in perfect condition. There's no cracks, no chips. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. I actually thought, you know what? You could put that on there and make a fairy lamp out of it, right? Let's try that. Let's see how it looks. How cool does that look? <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> I think that looks awesome. So you get both pieces of the Fenton for $24, number one. $24, number one. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, Celeste. <laughs> you got it, Celeste. Yeah, I know. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Celeste, you got it. Congratulations. They're beautiful pieces. Um... All right, uh, let me see. I'm gonna try this one more time. I tried to sell these before. Right, a DIY fairy lamp, that's right, because they are hard to find. Um, this is a beautiful, it, remind, it reminds me of like mid-century modern, like the shape and the style of it. It's this gorgeous creamer and sugar set. And it has those really pretty little pink flowers. And the leaves are a gray color. And I love the lid on here. I just think it's so mid-century modern. And even the, um, the shape of the picture. I love it. It's so, so pretty. Um, and this is, it says, it's vitrified, and it is Danton, China. So you will get the creamer and the sugar for $12, number 13. $12, number 13. Linda. Yes, it does. It, it Yes, it does. That's why it reminds me of mid-century modern. I just love it. Linda, you got it. Oh, 
right. Okay, I have, I have another little lot here. Um, oh my gosh, I am cold. I might have to go grab my sweater. Um, Y'all know the, the Marlboro Company, right? They make cigarettes. And I have a little lot of Marlboro items. So first we're going to start with the set of coffee cups. These are a nice, sturdy cup. They are in excellent condition. No cracks, no chips. They're that cool speckled look uh, to, made to look like enamel. So you're going to get the two cups. We have this awesome Marlboro cookbook. This has some amazing recipes in here. And let me tell you that this is in excellent condition. Look at that pizza, OMG. Look at this. It's hard for me to hold the book up because of my shoulder, but you get the idea. Um, there are some great recipes in here. Um, oh my God, you guys, look at that. Oh boy, that is like mouth-watering. Holy cow. Um, so this cookbook has um, the sections are Range Breakfast, Bucking Horse Cafe, The Cook's Pantry, Southwest Heat, Range Cook's Companion, Market Day, Cowboy Christmas, Line Riders Camp, and a ton more. So, you get that, and then you get this little one with 50 winning recipes. Look at that. There are all kinds of little recipes in this book. So this is um, chili, 50 different chili recipes. So you get both cookbooks and both cups for $24, number eight. $24, number eight. Linda, you got it, Linda. Thank you, love. Oh. All righty. Uh, okay. Let me do... Let me do another offer up. So, let me show you this. Okay, first let me say that I am going to start offers at $25. For this amazing set. This is um, Indy, I think it's Indiana Glass, and the pattern is called Tierra. And you will get the tray, the glass tray that this is on. You will get the eight cordial glasses and the decanter. So let me show you. 
These are the little glasses, the cordial glasses. There are eight of these little glasses. This is the decanter. The shipping, are you afraid it's going to get broken? Do you forget who you're talking to? <laughs> uh, that's the decanter. And this is the tray. It is gorgeous. So it is, you know, it is what it is. I mean, let me see. It probably weighs about seven pounds, maybe. I mean, I could go weigh it. Do you guys want me to go weigh it? Okay. I'll weigh it. I'll be right back. Okay, it weighs six pounds, two ounces. Six pounds, two ounces. So I was pretty close. So it's up to you. If you guys are interested, it's the starting is $25. Um, yeah, six pounds, two ounces. Okay. So nobody is interested in that. So we will move on to a, oh, I see Pamela 13 with an offer. All right, so let's see. We have Pamela 13 with an offer of 25. Somebody bid a while back. Who? <laughs> I'm looking. Can I hold it for you until summer? Is that what you said, Dana? <laughs> uh, where is, I don't see a bid. Let me know what, what the bid was. Oh, Lynn Dowdy had 25 as well. Okay. So we have Lynn Dowdy and Pamela 13, both at 25. So somebody has to break the tie. Pamela 13 is at 30. Okay, so we have Pamela 13 or Pam um let Pamela have it for $30. Okay, so Pamela 13 at $30. Going once Going twice, 
sold to Pamela 13 for $30. Congratulations, Pamela. Thank you. All right. Um, let me do this. I think these are really beautiful and I I don't understand why nobody wants to buy them but you know I'm going to try them one last time um and it is this set of beautiful petalware luncheon plates you can see right through them. They're just beautiful. So it is the two luncheon plates and two cups. They're both, they're all in excellent condition. There's no cracks, no chips, uh, very, very minuscule paint loss. They're in really, really great condition. And you can like, you, you get that, that fire look, you know, how, how they call that, the ring of fire, when you hold them up to the light. So you get the set, four pieces for $14, number 22. $14, number 22. Carla. Carla Salamone, you got it. I'm trying to keep this over here. I don't want it to pull my camera down. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. All right, so I have... Um, I have one more regular item, I believe. And then I have uh, two more offer up items. So let's do an offer up item and then we will do a regular and then an offer up item at the end. So I have, uh, where, oh, where is it? Yeah, I think we'll do this one. I have this gorgeous picture. This is just beautiful. I don't, it's called petal wear. I, I really, I'm not sure. It's, it's you know, I, I, I'm really not sure. But look at the frame on this picture. This is a beautiful, beautiful picture. Um, no, the glass is not wavy. Nope, not at all. Um, and it is, I'm trying to see the size. This is the back. So you can see that this is quite old. It is quite old. And it is, excuse me guys, I have to unplug this really quick and plug it into my, my iPad. Um, it is, Uh, 19 inches nineteen by fifteen. 
It's 14 inches there. Yeah. It's about um, 18 and three quarters long. 18 and three quarters long by uh, 15 inches wide. And it is just a gorgeous picture. Um, no, the whole thing is wood. The whole thing is wood. So we are going to start offers on this gorgeous picture at $20. Uh, you can start now if you are interested in this beautiful picture. And I have to put it down. <laughs> I'm just going to set it like this. How's that? We have Nancy Newell at 30. Sis is out. Kathy Morrison is at 32. Barb is out. Uh, Nancy Newell's at 35. Linda is out. Kathy Morrison is out. Tina B is out. Carla is at 40. Nancy Newell is at 42. Carla is at 45. Nancy Newell is out. So, we have Carla at $45. Going once. Going twice. Sold to Carla for $45. Congratulations, Carla. This is a stunning picture. All right. Um, okay, my last item, regular item, um, yeah, it's a gorgeous picture. I, if I would have had the wall space, I would be keeping it. I originally had it hanging in my bedroom, but then I purchased those, those two, um, pictures of the lady in the dresses. So I put those up and took that down. So, I mean, I don't. Why should I have it just sitting and not enjoying it? You know what I mean? So, um, okay. Next is, um, this piece is made by um, Heather Goldmink. This is from 2000. And they make all of these adorable little, um, you put your tea light candles now, this one is called Grandma's Place, and you can see there's a little, um, a little kitty sitting there. Um, it's so, so whimsical, the way they paint it and decorate it. It's so cute. Little kitty over here. Now... Normally, I would be selling this for a lot more money, but the reason I am not is because it is missing its base piece. There is a base that this sits on top of, and it is missing. But you could still put a candle in here, just put it in a glass um, 
candle holder first. So um, it doesn't have any cracks or chips or anything. And it measures eight inches tall, including the chimney. Without the chimney, it's like almost seven inches tall. So this adorable piece is going to be $12, number 26. $12, number 26. Yep. Yep, you could put it on a little plate. It's I love it. I think it's so cute. It would be really cute like outside, you know? But if nobody buys it, I'll keep it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Who do we got here? Oh, we got Virginia. Virginia, you got it, sweetheart. There you go. Thank you. Virginia. That is uh, number 26. All right. Um, do you guys want me to go over whatever didn't sell before I do my last offer up? Or do you want me to do the offer up first? And then go over what didn't sell. You let me know. She said, we don't care. Okay. I'm going to go over. Um, who made the last one? You want to know who made who made made this? Well, it's made by Heather Heather Gold M I N C Gold Mink M I N C, and it's from the year two thousand. Um, she did quite a few um different ones of these, so. They're, they were pretty popular. But yeah, I just think, look at how cute it is. Look at the little flowers and stuff. I love it. All right. Um, okay, so what didn't sell? Uh, oh, okay. So uh, this beautiful cut glass creamer did not sell. I had it for um, $10, number seven. I could go down to eight if anybody's interested. We could do $8 on it, number seven. Okay, Sue, you got it. Sue Golombeski. Uh, Sue. Okay, the next thing that didn't sell is this beautiful uh, hand-blown apple glass, Ponto mark on the bottom. Um, I was asking 14. Um, I could go down to 12. I could do $12 for the apple, and it's number 18. $12, number 18. Carla, okay, let me, um, I got to change the price. Number 18, $12. And it's Carla. And the creamer I sold for $8. $8. Okay. Uh, the only, uh, the other thing that did not sell is this, uh, set of three cookbooks. Um, I was asking 12, I'll go down to 10, um, number 25, 
It was the set of three. I, you know why? Because somebody bought it already. <laughs> oh, you got it, Virginia. You got it for $10, number 25. All right. Um, this beautiful vintage purse did not sell. It's in excellent condition. It's missing one little um, bead. And where is it? Because I know I saw it. I showed you guys. Oh, right here. There's one little bead missing right there. So um, this is $15 and it was number 28. $15, number 28. Oh, Jane Newhouse. Okay, Jane. You got it, sweetheart. Okay, so that was everything that didn't sell. Now I'm going to do my last offer up item. Uh, let me... Oh my God, I can't believe how cold I am. Holy crappers, I'm freezing. Okay, this is my last offer up item. Yes, it matches the decanter set. It is Indiana glass, Tierra pattern, amber fairy lamp. We are going to start offers on this fairy lamp at $15. So you guys, if you're interested, you can uh, type in $15. Yeah, it's very pretty. And it's, it has no issues. It's in excellent condition. Okay, Josie's is out. Jane is at 25. Lisa Jones is at 27. Carolyn Whitney is out. Carla is at 45. Jeffrey's out. Jane is out. So it looks like we have Carla at 45. So 45 is the offer to beat. Elaine Wallace is at 46. Danny Girl Vintage is at 47. Carla is at 50. It is beautiful. I love amber glass. I think it's so pretty. Danny Girl is out. So we have... Uh, Carla at $50. That is what needs to be beat. So I'm going to call it. We are going once, going twice, and we are sold to Carla for $50. Congratulations, Carla. You got it for $50. That's what it looks like, not lit. <laughs> All right. Let me mark you down there, Carla. So that's everything, guys. 
So, um, let me just remind everybody, please don't forget to give me thumbs up if you have not done so already. Also, if you are new to my channel and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would love it. Um, Tuesday, I am doing a live sale with um, Stephanie at, um, uh, yeah, Thrifting Adventures. Um, Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Thursday, the 11th, at 6 o'clock, I am doing a sale with Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage at uh, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on the 11th. So I hope to see everyone there. I'm sure I'll be back before then with a haul video. <laughs> um, so thank you, everybody. Aw, thank you, Poodle. Thank you so much to all of you for coming and just hanging out, chatting, and whoever purchased items, thank you. Uh, I really, really enjoy doing this. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed yourselves. Have a great weekend, and I'll catch you soon. <laughs>